The 138 megawatt Waikare Moana power scheme in Northern Hawke's Bay is one of three hydro power schemes operated by Genesis across New Zealand. On average, the Waikare Moana power scheme generates enough electricity to power more than 63,000 homes for a year. The scheme consists of three power stations that are fed from Lake Waikare Moana. Kaitawa, Tuai and Piripawa, which were completed between 1929 and 1948. The water is moved through these three stations in turn through a combination of modified lakes, canals, dams and siphon systems, starting with the primary catchment at Lake Waikare Moana. The water travels in an underground tunnel, then separates at two head gates before moving through penstocks that flow down to the Kaitawa power station and being discharged into Lake Kaitawa. From here, the water flows through a tunnel, a surge chamber, and then reaches three head gates with penstocks that run down the side of a hill to the Tuai power station. Tuai power station generates the largest proportion of the Waikare Moana power scheme's total output with a maximum output of 60 megawatts, enough to power more than 31,000 homes. Water is discharged from Tuai into Lake Whakamarino. This lake was created by construction of an earth dam across the Kahui Tangaroa stream. There are no floodgates, though the dam does contain a spillway that incorporates an automatic tipping gate, which allows the water to pass directly down the Kahui Tangaroa stream. This is for maintenance and diversion purposes. From here, it joins with the Waikare Taheke River, a short distance downstream. The third and final power station is Piripawa, located at the southeastern side of Lake Whakamarino. This station is fed from Lake Whakamarino via an underground tunnel. Piripawa power station is located in the bed of the Waikare Taheke River and a small volume of the river is diverted around the station. It then rejoins the river approximately 200 metres downstream. Water discharged from the station's turbines flows into the natural riverbed via a tail race. As well as these primary channels for water to travel, we have a number of bypasses in place. The Onipoto Siphon House is a secondary intake facility where water can be siphoned out of Lake Waikare Moana and diverted down the Waikare Taheke riverbed. This would only be done if the Kaitawa station was undergoing maintenance and water needed to be bypassed, or if water needed to be taken out of Waikare Moana, for example, in advance of or in response to weather events. The Power Scheme's resource consents contain specific procedures for how the scheme is to be operated to manage lake levels and control outflows during high flow or flood events in the catchment. Also available to help manage those situations are the Kaitawa tip gates. So, if water needs to bypass Tuai Station, the level of Lake Kaitawa can be raised and the tip gates used to discharge water down the old Waikare Taheke riverbed. The Waikare Moana power scheme is a vital link in generating and supplying electricity to the national grid and the Tairawhiti and Hawke's Bay regions. Lake Waikare Moana and the surrounding area including Te Uruwera a taonga of immense importance to mana whenua. The Waikare Moana lakebed is owned by Tuhoi and Ngati Kahunyunu. Genesis holds an easement to operate the power scheme. Genesis acknowledges and respects the cultural and environmental significance of Waikare Moana. The area is also special to and enjoyed by many recreational users. Genesis is diligent in ensuring the scheme is operated safely with a duty of care towards people, communities and the environment.